tell it from the mountain top. I will go and tell it. I will go and tell it. Tell it from the mountain top. that we are getting to spend Christmas Day together. Today we are celebrating the very best gift ever. And this is such a special day because Christmas is all about celebrating Jesus, which is God's greatest gift. There's so much fun stuff that happens this time of year, but of course the real reason we celebrate is because Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Jesus was born to be our saviour. That's why he's the greatest gift of all. Hannah, what is your favourite Christmas tradition? Well, I love having a big family lunch with my family. Oh, that is so cool. My favorite Christmas tradition is definitely decorating the house. Every year, my family and I pick out a tree and decorate our family home, and we have so much fun. We wear matching pajamas, and we bake lots of cookies, and for our Christmas Day game today, we thought we would play Let's Name as many Christmas traditions as possible. So we need you to grab a piece of paper and a pen so why don't you pause us right here and go and grab those things for each person that's playing the game. All right, guys, pause us here. Have you guys got everything? Well, now we're gonna give you one minute to name as many Christmas traditions as you could possibly think of. I'll give you some head starters. These could be baking Christmas cookies, wrapping presents, or even opening up a present on Christmas Eve. There are so many different traditions for different people and we want to hear all of the awesome ways that you celebrate Christmas. All right, everyone. Are you ready to write down as many traditions as you can? You have one minute starting now.
your traditions? Well, I wrote down singing carols at church. I love that tradition. What's something that you wrote down? Now that is so cool, Hannah. I wrote down eating pavlova. Now mm. that is a tradition in my house for sure. How many did you guys get? What one was your favorite one? Yeah, we would love to hear them. Now we're going to hear an amazing part of the Christmas story. We're so excited. Mm -hmm. Hey everyone. Hey, hey Brian. Brian. Jesus is born. <laughs> it's the most amazing news ever. But even though the birth of God's son was going to change the entire world, well, the world didn't know about it yet. The town of Bethlehem lay sleeping. Shh, the streets were quiet. But in the fields outside town, some shepherds were still awake, keeping watch over their flocks of sheep. Now, if you're gonna announce the birth of a king, you send a herald straight to the big cities and, and high up leaders, right? You let the most important people know first. Well, these shepherds were the opposite of important. In fact, they were considered nobodies, probably really sweaty and smelly from living outside and wrangling stubborn sheep. They were all huddled around the fire trying to stay warm, trying to stay awake. Perhaps they were even dozing off when suddenly a brilliant angel from God appeared before them. The shepherds were terrified, ready to run for their lives. But the angel said, do not be afraid. I bring you good news. It will bring great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Oh, uh, the town of David? That's what people called Bethlehem because it's where King David had grown up hundreds of years before. Here is how you will know I am telling you the truth. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. The shepherds were still trying to understand this mind-blowing news when an epic angel choir from heaven showed up. The entire sky lit up as they sang for joy. May glory be given to God in the highest heaven. And may peace be given to those he is pleased with on earth. Then, just as swiftly as they had arrived, the angels left. The night was dark and still again. <laughs> but you can bet those shepherds were wide awake now. What just happened? Your mind blown. Can you believe God just told us? We got to go to Bethlehem. Oh, we got to see this for ourselves. I'll raise you. Can you imagine? The shepherds were giddy with excitement and filled with wild curiosity. They took off across the fields, heading straight for Bethlehem. There, they found the place where a light still glowed. Mary and Joseph were exhausted, but they welcomed the first visitors to see their brand new baby. These rugged shepherds gathered around in awe. He's just like a newborn lamb. As night turned to day, the shepherds finally left to return to the fields. They were so filled with joy that they shouted out the news to everyone they met. God has sent a savior. Oh, he's just a tiny baby now, but he, he's gonna be king. A whole bunch of angels came to tell us. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Before long, everyone in town heard the incredible news. And in the middle of all the celebration, Mary kept everything in her heart like a secret treasure. The end. I think it's really cool how God chose to tell the shepherds about Jesus. I mean, shepherds weren't the most popular or the richest or the most important people, but God sent angels to tell the shepherds about the birth of the Savior. Our memory verse for this month comes from what the angel said to the shepherds. This is in Luke 2 verse 11. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. It just goes to show you that Jesus didn't just come for the people who were considered important, like the kings or the queens. Jesus came for the whole world. Jesus the savior, is the savior for everyone. And that is very good news, the best news. The good news is for everyone. Of course, Jesus grew up and lived his life on earth with people. He came to show us what God is like. He taught us how to love God and love others. And when Jesus laid down on his life and died on the cross for us, he took on the sin and brokenness of the world. Jesus made a way for us to be forgiven. And then he rose from the dead. 
Now, anyone who chooses to follow Jesus can have a relationship with him that will last forever. Now, that is some really good news. That's the kind of good news that is just worth sharing, like the shepherds did. We can tell others about Jesus, and it isn't the, about the words that we say, but we can show people what a difference Jesus has made in our lives by treating others the way that we want to be treated. Hey, that reminds me of our Christmas family question for today. What are some ways you can share the good news? Since we have the best news there is in Jesus, what are some ways you can tell others about it? How can you do that today with the people you'll see for Christmas? How can you continue showing others the good news of God's love in the new year? If you're not sure or have questions about any of this, that's okay. Why don't you sit down with someone older in your family? They might be able to help you know what it means to have a relationship with Jesus. Then why not pray together as a family and thank God for sending Jesus as the greatest gift ever. Then you can head onto our Kids Space Facebook page for another episode of The So and So Show. Merry Christmas, guys! We hope that you have a super special day today and we'll see you next year!